new. And for those of you who are not aware of who John Lewis was, I'd like to say, or was and is, yes. today. He was, he's been nationally televised as the congressman who refused to go to Trump's inauguration. And Trump backlashed him by saying he needed to go back to Atlanta, the fifth district, to take care of his business. Dorothy Cook wrote, my soul looks back and wonder. When I reflect on the civil rights era, I remember the words of the old Negro spiritual. How I got over. How I got over. My soul looks back and wonders how I got over. Now February is National Black History Month and in memory of those whose shoulders we stand. I chose to highlight life sacrifices and accomplishment of Congressman John Robert Lewis. John Robert Lewis was born outside of Troy, Alabama on February 21st, 1940. Although he was required to work hard to assist his share proper parents, Lewis was, he had a happy childhood. He grew up in an era of segregation and he was discontented with the unfairness of segregation. Inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he joined the Civil Rights Movement. He was particularly disappointed with the Supreme Court ruling in 1954, Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka. It didn't affect, it, this did not affect his school life. However, hearing Martin Luther King Jr.'s sermons and news of the 1955-66 Montgomery bus boycott, inspired Lewis to act for the changes he wanted to see. In 1957, he left Alabama to attend the African, to attend the American Baptist Theological Seminary in Nashville, Tennessee. There he learned about nonviolent protests and helped to organize sit-ins at demonstrations, which upset his mother. But Lewis was committed to the Civil Rights Movement and went on to participate in the Freedom Rides of 1961. Freedom Riders challenged to segregated facilities. They encountered at interstate bus terminals in the South, which had been deemed illegal by the Supreme Court. It was dangerous work that resulted in arrests and beatings from many involved, including Lewis. In 1963, he became chairman of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. That same year, as one of the big six leaders, big six leaders of the Civil Rights Movement, he helped plan the March on Washington. Lewis was the youngest speaker at the event. He delivered a powerful oration that included a memorable statement. We all recognize the fact that if any racial, social, political, and economic changes are to take place in our society, the people, the masses, must bring them up. In 1986, Lewis was elected to the House of Representatives. Today, representing Georgia's 5th District, 31 years later, he is one of the most respected members of Congress. Since entering office, he has called for health care reform, measures to fight poverty, and improvements in education. He also oversaw multiple renewals of the Voting Rights Act. When the Supreme Court struck down one of the law, he decried the decision as a death in the heart. When Lewis was growing up, he reports, my mother, father, and family members said, don't get into trouble. Don't get in the way. I got in trouble, and I got in the way. It was necessary trouble. He also stated, stated we have been quiet too long. There comes a time when you have to say something. You have to make a little noise. You have to move your feet. This is the time. I did a little research on the internet and found that Donald John Trump had tweeted that Lewis was all talk.
talk, talk. No action or results. President Trump did not do any research before he tweeted this statement regarding Congressman Lewis. In addition to earning a BA degree in religion and philosophy from Fisk University, both in Nashville, Tennessee, Lewis has been awarded over 50 honorary degrees from prestigious colleges and universities throughout the United States. He is also a recipient of numerous awards from eminent national and international institutions, including the highest civilian award honored by President Barack Obama, and many, many more. Interestingly enough, John Lewis is the co-author of the number one New York Times best-selling graphic novel, Memoir Trilogy March, written by Anthony Eiden and illustrated by Nate Powell. The March series is used in schools across the country to teach the civil rights movement to the next generation of our young activists. John Robert Lewis lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Eddie and Willie Mae Carter Lewis, child is no joy. He has and is doing more than talk, talk, talk. The above information was gotten off the internet. Just Google his name and you can gather the same information. How did he get over? It was through divine providence. God kept him going, and he right. didn't let go. All right. All right.